All right, y'all, we finna slow cook today, and I'm finna show you what I'm gonna be slow cooking, okay? Because I had to taste for some beef and potatoes, and right now I'm frying the pot um, beef. I wasn't gonna show y'all, but I'm gonna show y'all just in case somebody be like, well, why didn't you show us how you fried it, okay? It's simple, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Right, so all I'm doing is browning it. Basically, you got it. I got it on so it's between the eight and seven. And I'm just browning the um the beef, okay? And this is Angus beef. You brown it and flip it. And flip it. Okay, it's simple, like I said, that's why I wasn't really gonna show that. Brown it in this, okay. This is the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Potatoes that I'm going to put in when it's almost done. Slow cooking. Uh, I'm going to put this in. Uh, actually, I can put this in now. This and the meat tender. I'm going to put in now. These two. So make sure you get you some of that. Put these two in now. And then, of course, y'all know I got my um, beef flavor. Got my um, root. Root. However you say it. Got my parsley. And got some Creole seasoning. Got my Worcestershire. And I got this steak house because with this stuff, I'm going to make like a gravy. But I want it to be like a gravy sauce, so that's why I'm going to add this in there, okay? And I have some white pepper, butter that I'm going to cook it in, and I have some cut up onions in here. Make sure y'all get that everywhere. Get me don't worry about that so that you can clean that. It's not going to be nothing but it's all everywhere. Okay, okay, I don't have no beef stock, but I have chicken stock. I don't want to use that so right in here I got some lemon juice and add some water. We don't need too much water. We only need a little bit. That's good enough for now. We probably not even gonna use all of it. All right, we got our beef in there. So I'm just gonna start putting in stuff. It doesn't matter how you put it in. Just put it all in, okay? Got the onion. Put in this Creole season. What's your share? Everybody said different. I don't heard this thing be called all type of stuff. I like because I love that. Y'all already know I put that on everything. Put this in. Just to coat it. And then I'm going to put it in the beef flavor. Hold on. Put some parsley in. The black pepper. Brian, hush. I'm finna record. Oh, yeah, no. I'm recording. All right, so, next. Put some of this. Hi, Bobby. We ain't gonna use all of it. Okay. Get that a good mix. So we can mix up everything. Make sure everything's cold. And then we're going to put in our water lemon mixture. And that lemon going to bring those flavors together. Just mixing everything up. See, we still have a lot left in there. I'm going to coat these. That's it. And then gonna add in our butter you know you could chop it up but I'm just gonna leave it like that 
put the top on. Make sure it's secured right. And we're going to do this for, I'll say six hours. Okay, to make sure those get nice and tender. All right, y'all. There you go. It's done. And when it was like on close to five hours, I had went ahead and put one can of potatoes in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. Show y'all the end result. I didn't even use your jacket so, so much. Oh my god, this motherfucker. Show y'all the end. Jacket wet. Result. Oh my god, do y'all see this? No, nah, but the window oh wasn't down. Goodness. Your mama purposely wet my damn jacket. I'm doing a video because you shut your mouth. No. God. You wet my jacket. I ain't wet nothing, nigga. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good. I hope it's good though. It's hot. I got a y'all. I got oil all over me. I had oil on my hair, so y'all know it goes all on your neck and your back and stuff. I got some a piece of meat and a piece of potato. I'm gonna try. I hope and see if it's good. Ooh, it's hot. I got gum in my mouth. Try it, okay? And I'm gonna sign off, okay? See y'all in the next video. Deuces. Y'all, let me tell you. I made some rice and we made some um blueberry cornbread and the um cast iron. Man, y'all just don't understand. Do y'all see this? Lord have mercy, this is so good. Please try this recipe, okay? I just be coming up with stuff, I just be putting stuff together. And it be turning out good, okay? So that's what just happened. I tried something and it turned out lovely. Y'all listen, it is so good. It got <clears throat> so much flavor. But that that taint, like not even taint, it's the it got like a little little slight kick to it, okay? Because um I'll say the white pepper and then whatever is in the uh, steak sauce, um, the you know the stuff that's in the steak sauce. Other than that, um, if you don't like spicy food at all, um, don't put the pepper, the white pepper in there, and don't put don't put that much of the steak sauce in there. Okay, but if you like a little spice but you don't like super hot then this is perfect for you okay it do got a little kick to it once you start eating it okay but it's so good it's so flavorful like oh my god that thing is swinging it's swinging i'm finna eat but i just had to come back and say that okay and it is so tender um i don't know if you can do it in four hours i chose six because i know if four hours will be enough um being that it's beef okay but um it probably would have been since I did put the um uh meat tenderizer on there, okay? So it probably would have been um long enough, but I don't know. But it's perfect with the six hours, okay? Even five hours probably would have been good, okay? But yeah, I see y'all.